guys, hi jammers, welcome back to my channel. This is my second academic requirement video. And again, to our professor, Joel P. Sadul, an agricultural and biosystems engineer, Masters of Science. But now, to our subject, KM 151E, Agricultural Structure Engineering. And the topic I choose is Introduction to Agricultural Structures. So, let's go! Introduction to Agricultural Structures Agricultural definition is relating to or used for farming. Farming is growing and raising of crops and animals, respectively. And for structures, the word structures have varieties of meaning. However, the most simplest and easiest to understand definition is something construct or built. These are things that have forms and shapes and are tangible and existed. Therefore, agricultural structures are tangible things used for farming. Design consideration for agricultural structures. Utility purposes must have met the performance requirement the intent of the structure is designed for. Safety purposes. The loads of the structure are safety considered. It should not collapse during the utilization of the structure. Economical purposes. The material, constructions, and cost of the structure are likewise take into account. There should be a maximization of the use of materials, manpower, and money for the structure. And last, the aesthetics purposes. The structure, as much as possible, are pleasing to viewer. It should be of good appearance. Types of agricultural structures Mass Structures which are able to resist applied loads by means of weight itself. Rear structures for agricultural purposes. And framed structures which are able to resist applied loads by means of their geometric configuration. Most of agricultural structures are built in this type. Structural elements of framed agricultural structures Beam A long straight structure that is loaded perpendicular to its longitudinal axis Column A member vertically erected that resists compressive and axial loads Arc Curved structural shape that is usually configured to support gravity loads. Wall, a member that makes boundary and provides shelter and security. Truss, an assemblage of straight members connected at their ends by flexible connections and subjected to loads and reactions only at the joints or their connections. And foundation, Foundation is the lowest load-bearing member, usually below ground level. And these are the types of connection of structural elements, the stiff joints and fin joints. Stiff joints considered have 50 at point of connection and is rigid or fixed. And pin joints hind point that allows relative movements of the elements and cannot resist bending moments or movable. Types of loads on agricultural structures Vertical loads Vertical loads, dead, live, and impact loads Horizontal loads, wind, and earthquake loads And other load is longitudinal loads Attractive and breaking loads. Methods of developing agricultural structures. Developing general layout. Choice of structural type. Selection of materials and 
preliminary costing of the structure are considered, the need of expert and skilled engineer is very important. Investigating the loads specifications and codes of possible loads are taken into consideration. The conditions and exceptions of loads on structure are must to specify. Next is stress analysis. Internal forces of structural members and maximum possible stresses should be determined. Selection of elements. This is dependent on the stress analysis at designed provisions of the specifications and codes. Trial and error approach may be used to determine economical and appropriate elements. And the last method is drawing and detailing. Final information of the structure where all details are written. This serves as guide of the structures. And that's all for introduction to agriculture structures. Thank you!